The easiest way to find the number of valence electron for any elements in the groups A's, we have one A's over here, two A's, three A's, four A, five A, six A, seven A, and eight A, is this, that the group number is equal to the number of valence electron. Okay, that means if I ask you how many valence electrons are there in sodium right here, Na, you would say it has to be one because it's in group 1A. What about magnesium? It's in group 2A. It would have two valence electrons. What about sulfur? It would be six because it's in group 6A. What about chlorine? It would be seven because it's in 7A. Now, how do you prove that? Using electron configuration, you can actually verify it in this way. Remember, valence electrons are found in the highest energy level, right? And the energy level are the number right in front of the sublevel. Here we have energy level 1, 2, 2, and 3. So the highest energy level is 3. And how many electrons are there in energy level 3? There are 2. So we have 2 valence electrons. And for magnesium, it's in group 2A. It also has two valence electrons, so we proved that. What about argon? Remember, argon is in group 8A, okay? Now, look at the electron configuration. What do we have? 1, 2, 2, 3, 3. So those are the energy level. So what's the highest energy level we have? 3 and 3. And there are two of them, so we just add the electron together. That will give you eight valence electrons. What about arsenic? Arsenic is in group 5A, okay? So we assume there will be five wave so we assume that there will be five valence electrons. Here we have the noble gas electron configuration. So we have 4S2, 3D10, 4P3. What's the highest energy level? Four. And another four. So what's two plus three? That will give you five valence electron, which is determined by the group number. So again, the group numbers like 1A, 2A, 3A, 4A, 5A, 6A, 7A, and 8A determine the number of valence electrons.